our features and design. So this is the book we are covering now. And we are in chapter five already in the middle of the book. And application of features and features and design. And the part is uh, three and chapter five already is section one and two is covered by a little bit. Then I'll cover section three and then first part of section four. That is a tolerance specification. Yes. So section three is they made of part creation. This is already covered by many parts. So First and then variant design with part families. Part family also the idea behind the parametric design. You see that. And tolerance may be the new to this class. Uh, we will see uh, Alexander next um, tomorrow evening. We will start on um, second part of tolerance specification. What is the tolerance and feature relationship? So, two main type of uh, design process is uh, innovative design and also routine design. So innovation, we, we, we cannot make it standard innovation. Right? Innovation is very unstable. So it's not easy to formalize. But the people are trying to formalize it using AI technologies, deep learning systems. But still, you can expect that innovation is not uh, easy to formalize. So routine design is can be available, right? You can a little bit formalize and then uh, algorithm, uh, you can develop some algorithm of it. And existing basic design, right? So variational design, you can say. Okay. Starting from old design and then modify, change. Right? And innovation will be covered more on chapter eight. So you see more on this. And routine design. So routine design. So the book is covering first. Routine design is also covered by two cases. One is part creation. The other one is family. Part family. Part creation is already covered many times. Previous early also do. So connecting node is specific uh, here. There's a features names, notch, count, weight, blend, and width, and bold, bold node. These kind of features are not available in Katia or Jimens. Katia Jimens only provides common general features. But if you if your company, if your company are producing only correct notes, then you can customize your scale system to make such a library of features that make it more quicker and easier searching. There is specialized uh, customized features only for that company. Right? So that is the way we, you can develop more system or help designers. So feature library, so should be somebody should develop this one first, only for this company. Specialized, customized features. Preview the available features, right? Available features in Katia. Once you purchase from the DASO system, they provide only default library that is very general, very primitive. So it can be common to any any industry, any company. So this one is very can be expected specialized library. So somebody should be part of develop this. So. Starting from uh, very simple, only for a specialized library, 
they need to positioning and naming and sizing. And simply they can develop this one. And then anchoring and pink and that is also specialized library control. And then I wrote I shaped Frankston uh, Mode Raised and then Nudge and Counterweight and Blend and Weave and Ball Fold. Very special. So that is we can say customized uh, feature library. And then the other way is a variational design or parametric design with hot family. So that approaches can be uh, the entire part, say bolt, entire part, bolt. Bolt is made of many features, general features. But you can say bolt is one part or one feature in here. Very much high level customized feature. So it's a feature of feature, right? You can say customized feature to support variant design of standard part. So you can make variational model of part, bolts, easily, quickly, and many. Right? Here's the idea of that. So customized, composite, combined, combinational, combinatorial features. And there is a pros and cons. The speed is pro pros, right? You can do quickly and many, right? But only using some small number of parameter variation, we can generate many, many bolts or connect nodes. But there is also this advantage. Flexibility is needed. So specialized, customized library and feature, they cannot be used in another company. So it's not flexible enough. So generic common library that is provided by commercial company, that's so. They have very general, so that they are very flexible. Creating different part designs with the same set of things. So they want to, say, the crankshaft company, they want to also develop or, or manufacture piston. Then they cannot use this library. They, use, they must make another uh, library set, customized library. Right. Variational design also we already see several times, right? And usually we start from a old design and then modify this. But still you need a parametric variation, right? But this one is uh, something like, uh, I can't remember the name. You can remember the variational parametric constraint set so that the uh, equation of constant equation of uh, set of constant equation they solve at Seven. one time. What is the meaning? Can only confirm something? There was two procedural and variational. Variational work constraints. Simultaneous. Simultaneous. Oh, first one. Variational. 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 Okay. So all parameters at one time. And then the solution is produced one time by, by solving that equation. So there is an example of like a drive chart. Yeah. And there is a list of parameters to create. A, each part has a, their own parameter set. But my question is in particular with chip part. Chip part. Because chip part has specific curves along its length. Right. That hole was a similar. We talked before. But all the style of designing using not computer, they also do similarly divide into entrance part, middle part, and end part, tail part, dividing, whole design. And then there's a variations, variations, and then combination. And then they select. There is a user case. But that is helped by computer variation method. Usually the middle part is the most important because the cargoes are stored in the middle part. And middle part is bigger. 
in a small ship, small boat, I, he was explaining about only small high speed boat so that each part is about the same size. But in a big ship, you can see from downstairs, middle part is eight person. Right? And middle part is almost the same, same shape. So very simple. And then variation is coming from front part and, and small ships are usually the same. Middle part is typical, but the end part is variation. So that, that's why they keep dividing the series. That is traditional. And each one has a parameter to control the ship. Then you can use uh, any nerves or cone patch uh, to, to generate from, from parameters to generate circuits. You can also say that it is a customized nerve surface. Surface. Any other questions? No. Then we go on to tolerance specification. Geometric tolerance. There is an allowable variation in size and shape. There is also a mat mating, mating between two parts. Right? If you can see the sound, they are clipping and then hold tight. But if you make this one two part using different machine, right? you cannot make both at the same time. Different mold, different uh, plastic injection, different uh, cooling time. Right? And then you need to make it work together. It's not easy, not easy. Right? So because each machine or mold injection and cooling down, there is a variational differences. I, I make this one 1,000. I make this part 1,000. And each one, 1,000 and 1,000, cross combinational test, Something happened that cannot can be cannot be work. Right? Mostly it should be work. Right? There is a problem of tolerance. Tolerance, tolerance means a uh, variation, variation of size. Say this is say two one centimeter, one centimeter diameter, right? and then there is some smaller inside some. Circle to another, right? But what can be the exact design circle diameter and then additional variation? What can be the allowable variation between those circle diameter? Right? So actual uh, manufacturing can provide these variational ranges of surface, right? If you measure very exactly of 1,000 piece which is produced by the machine, there is a small oscillations between the sizes, right? But if we allow, say, 2% or 5% or 10% by design of variation, then it should work together. This is a tolerance. Otherwise, it fails. You cannot use this. There are many, there are many. All the assemblies are all tolerant. So allowable, variational. From the design, from the design. Design is very ideal size, right? Nominal ideal size. But actual manufacturer size is not exactly the same. Right? Some dis difference. So what can be the some small difference? Size and shape. So this one is size, right? diameter size, one number, one number, but shape is different. Say straightness, straightness is not size. You can make it size as a variation, but circularity, circularity is another shape, uh, shape change or shape differences. Right? 
and then angularity, angularity of all along the corner edge line, not only one one place, but can be twisted, right? Can be twisted. So there is a two different uh, tolerance size and shape tolerance. It's another one. Let me see on more more. And purpose of the specification of tolerance, how, why, why we need a tolerance, already explained. What is the reason for specifying tolerance set by the designer? But it is given to the manufacturer. If you allow only very small allowance, then big allowance, which one is good for manufacturer? Big one is good, right? Easier to manufacture. So that cost is down. This one, high cost. Difficult to make. Right? So you should choose as a designer. Bigger tolerance, smaller tolerance. What is the optimal tolerance? Based on time and cost. If you require very, very tough, it takes longer time, it costs much. So what is the optimal? Your, your decision. So that's why it is not easy and not, not simple. They ensure that parts will function properly, function properly, yes. this is function properly, right? Function properly. And then uh, interchangeable. I may I may order this one from another company. Two companies. Because too many parts, million parts. I cannot make it in a one week. So then I spread out to 10 companies. Then it should be interchangeable, 10 different companies, right? So that is a standard and specification. And interchangeable and then assemblable, right? assembly, assembly, and also robust. And, and, and also manufacturable too, right? Too tough, then I cannot make it. I cannot make it. Too tough. My millisecond, micro, uh, nano. <laughs> I cannot make this. Tolerance problem. Specification. So this is specification. This one or this one? This is specification. But it's in terms of size and uh, geometry. geometry. A location. A location is say, I can. This is an assembly problem, right? Assembly. See, if you uh, assemble stacking 10, 10 blocks one by one, then it goes into twisted in, in this way, right? But I want to make it final one is within, within say, five centimeter from this one then you should distribute how much the second one, first one. You're stacking up, stacking up errors, right? Stacking up errors. So how can you allow the portal is five centimeter, you allow, say, 10 by, five by, divided by 10. <laughs> it can be a, another simple allocation. Allocation. Portal allowance, and then, then each part, and analysis. This is the reverse way. Right? Location is giving, analysis is the other way. So once it is given, then you can analyze. And then designer's intent. So your intention, small or, or larger, or allowed. That is your intention. For manufacturing, in format, in a specific format, standard format, that is interpreted uniformly by both sides. Right? So as a designer, you write down the specification somehow, and then distribute to the 10 manufacturers. They interpret different. It goes on to one Pakistan, one uh, France, and the other, right? Bangladesh. And then they interpret should be same, right? So that is why we need the international standard. Dimension, clearance, that impact function and performance, right? Performance. 
what is the allowance that we, we can see the click sound uh, stacking up or demanded the tolerance is stacking up uh, uh, distributions accuracies with, with which it forms a dimensional loop is a cambia circular loop Example one dimensional uh, di the dimensional loop is uh, something like this one. So each part, five part, has tolerances. And tolerance is stacking up, added around, and then something happen. You may require something like a zero or something. So choosing a set of tolerance and, and then analyze consequence. So uh, location and then evaluation. The designers already do, right? Allow them, design them, allow them, put them, put some dimensions on them, and then we can evaluate whether it is good or not by using analysis tools. FEM, CFD, there is all analysis tools. There is another analysis tool only for tolerance summaries. Similar to CFD, FEM, then structural analysis. Uh, hydrodynamic analysis, tolerance analysis, cost analysis. There are so many analysis. Right? Opposite of tolerance allocation, right? analysis and allocation is the other way. And this is a software based on worst case or statistical method. So worst case is most most worst case maximum. One of the maximum worst case. But statistical is a uh, quality control, right? So you can see that statistical distribution. I tried to make it same, but it is not same after finally, right? So there is a small variations. So we need to have a statistical check of quality. So usually I'm saying that I ordered million parts. And then there is some some errors so should be. So what can be the percentage of acceptance? Ninety percent, ninety-five percent, something like that. Right? Statistical. So then okay, I accept your manufacturing. Is it less than eighty percent? No, you should do it again. Right? According to my contract, the manager loop, D loop. For pin connection. Okay, see this one and this one and this one and this one. This is a, uh, something you should get inside, right? And then each one has tolerance, variation of tolerance, right? D and C and D and F and C, all has variation of tolerance, different. But finally, you should have a total is also must be met. But total uh, dimension also <coughs> can be a variation of allowances. But each one has allowances. But it, it can make uh, different equation, arrive at different results. Right? So we need to have a loop, loop because it is a one, one single dimension. OK, standard, NC standard for geometric tolerance. There are differences, not same. ISO is international, NC is American. Right? So there is that must be same, but there is nothing. Right? Small difference. Engine drawings, not CAD model. So engine drawing is a 2D paper, sometimes drawn by pen. Pen. And CAD <laughs> model is usually a three-dimensional. It must be same. So sometimes different because of the burgeoning, because of the, the other reason. And computer understandability it is uh, given to robots, then robots should understand this one. So then we need to have a mathematical method to lower down the variability, Mis miscommunication. It, mathematics is very clear. So if we make it more mathematical, then there is less a chance of misunderstanding. Right? By using verbal, verbal way, misunderstanding is higher. 
That's why we are we like somebody many people like uh, the followers mass 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 committee in American standard organization so that they prefer to make uh, mathematics. Specification NC American tolerance standard. Um, there is a feature. Oh, uh, even name uh, the terminology. Terminology. We already see this one. Right? But they are a little bit different from our de de definition of it. Because it's only for tolerance. So they have a different thing. So they are usually concerning about geometry. Shape. shape. So here they are saying shape. Here they are saying edge of face or geometry. And shape. And set of faces and size dimension. Okay. And then data. Data is a reference point. Origin, origin of coordinate system is similar. Right? But there is a data phase, not only point, data something, data corner, data solid. So there are many. So that's why we have a separate. Usually, uh, uh, coordinate system has a uh, one origin, right? Um, one point. But data can be different. The reference for controlling the location, orientation of a feature of the so baseline for measuring, measuring. So in this case, in this case, uh, you should set a datum point or face or edge first. Baseline, right? reference point. And then you can make this one. Okay, glasses. Glasses. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this. So, tolerances. So, more, more specifically, there is a size tolerance and form. Form is shape tolerance. Straightness, flatness, circularity, flatness. Two most important uh, tolerance. But there is also the other orientational tolerance, positional tolerance, run out, profile, and here is the uh, international standards ISO. 10 is only for drawings, but they are now increased their scope there documentation, not only drawing, but also some written documentation. And this one is more specialized in three-dimensional, uh, dimensional and geometrical uh, verification. Once they started with uh, tolerance, but they also increased their scope so that they changed their name more general. Uh, anyway, there is a standard numbers, standard numbers. For the runout, form, orientation, local requirement, and datum, intersection, dimension, notification. Right. Yes. Then I 